Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here, and I got a very interesting article for you guys today. Before I get into any of that though, I wanted to take this opportunity, as usual of course, to let you all know that all relevant information will be provided in the description down below for everyone to take a look at, just in case you guys are interested. Now, this article from The Friendly Atheist basically talks about there being a clusterfuck when it comes to religion and the potential problems that these religious people are going to cause in the future. And I want to read a part of this article to you guys so that you can get a basic idea of what is going on. So let's get started. College campuses should absolutely be welcoming to students of different religious backgrounds but how far should they go to accommodate their beliefs? At the University of Iowa, administrators may have gone too far, creating two special prayer rooms only to be used by Muslim students. After placing their shoes on a shoe rack, students and staff can come into the rooms to pray or meditate at any time of the day, any day of the week. The rooms are former offices. One room is for women to pray and the other is for men. Muslim students and staff say they are thankful for the new prayer spaces because they no longer have to pray publicly and risk being interrupted. Now, I want to read something really quickly to you guys from the Friendly Atheist in regards to what he had to say about this. I'm sure the Muslim students and staff members appreciate it, but why is this the university's responsibility? Why should tuition dollars be used to give Muslims a special room? This isn't a question I'm asking for the sake of being a jerk. There are presumably just as many Jewish and atheist students on campus. Just because they don't have prescribed prayer times doesn't mean they couldn't use the gathering places of their own. Should the university create meeting spaces for them too? In fact, an off-campus Hindu group has already requested that Hindus have their own meeting area on campus. It's the same group that requested representation at the Oklahoma Capitol after legislators installed a Ten Commandments monument. Rajan Zed, who is president of Universal Society of Hinduism, pointed out that Hindu prayer room would be a step in the positive direction in view of presence of a substantial number of Hindu students at UI. As it was important to meet the spiritual needs of these students, some other universities, colleges in the USA now offered Hindu prayer rooms. It may be trolling, the friendly atheist says, but what's the counterpoint from the school? On what basis can they say yes to Muslims but no to Hindus? There's a way around this. Have spaces that all students can use and allow registered Muslim clubs to reserve the rooms whenever they need them. The Freedom From Religion Foundation believes the space represents an unconstitutional endorsement of religion and sent a letter urging administrators to reverse their decision. Now, I want to read this part of the letter to you guys. It says, and I quote, State-run colleges have a constitutional obligation to not endorse, advance, or aid religion. FFRF staff attorney Patrick Elliott writes in a letter to University of Iowa President Bruce Harold, and I quote, when a government entity like the University of Iowa creates prayer areas for specific religions and imposes religious rules upon students, removing shoes, segregating men and women, it has unconstitutionally entangled itself with religion. The university finds itself in a position where it must either sponsor and endorse the tenets of a religion by allowing it to impose religious rules or dictate to religious students which tenets they are allowed to follow on university property. Now guys, I think that the more that these types of things happen, you know, like this article talks about, you know, the more, you know, other religions are going to want their own spaces. And just like, you know, the friendly atheist asked, what about atheists? What about all of these other people? Don't they get their own spaces as well? You know, I have always 
ha have had the position of, you know, if you're going to treat one group of people a certain way, you got to treat everybody the same exact way. You know, you got to welcome all religions into the university as far as I'm concerned. But I also sit here and I think about this issue for a while, right? Personally, to me, I think religion in its entirety, it doesn't matter where it comes from, should not belong in colleges. It should not belong in any kind of a public school system as far as I'm concerned, right? This is unconstitutional, but these people, these religious individuals really don't care. And I think that it's safe to say that they are basically looking for an opportunity to proselytize to other students. They're looking for opportunities to get special things that others wouldn't normally get. And to me, that's wrong. You know, there's going to be lawsuits in and out of the ass, basically, in this regard. You know, a lot of people, say for atheists, example, they're going to feel singled out. They're going to feel out of place in these areas where they have these Muslim prayer rooms or they have these Hindu rooms, et cetera, et cetera. And that is not fair. You know, I simply think that this is preposterous, what this college is actually doing. And if I really had to make a decision, if I had the power to make an impact on this school's decision, I would not allow any kind of religion in the setting, plain and simple. It does not belong there, as far as I'm concerned. And that's how I feel about this, because it is going to create a bigger problem than what it has to be. Simple as that. And I think that these people that are running in this school need to take the laws seriously when it comes to religion. They need to completely get rid of it, get it out of the schools where it does not belong, so that these problems won't create themselves, basically. You know, they won't have any lawsuits. They won't have anything else that they have to deal with as far as legal processes are concerned, you know. But again, when it comes to religious people, when it comes to these religious motives that they want to push forth into society, I think, again, that a lot of them don't care. You know, I think that they really do not genuinely want a room for themselves to pray in. I think, again, that a lot of these people really do want to proselytize to others in these types of venues, you know. They want to get as many people as possible under their religious wing, for a lack of a better term. You know, and I think that they really play these significant roles in society where they try to bend the law, they try to twist the law. You know, and in some places, unfortunately, they are successful. You know, this type of thing I really detest to no end, you know. And Religion should have no place in public schools, in colleges, and that's how I feel about it. And I know that there might be a lot of Christians out there who might not like what I'm saying. I know that there might be a lot of Muslims out there that might not like what I'm saying, or Hindus for that matter. But the law is the law. You know, when it comes to the laws of this land, I've talked about this a lot on my channel. They need to be respected, right? They need to be taken seriously because if they don't, you know, well, a lot of religious people are going to continue to push that envelope if these laws are not taken seriously. And I'm not just talking about Christianity here. I'm talking about all of these other religions as well. Islam, Hinduism, et cetera, et cetera. All these people are really going to try to push forth their own religious agenda, their own religious propaganda. And, you know, they're going to clash. You know, they're going to create a lot of problems with each other. And pretty soon, a lot of these schools are going to be facing a significant problem as far as I'm concerned, you know. And that is why I think, you know, when I sit down and I think about it, I think, again, that religious institutions should stay private there should be no religion involved in any kind of public school setting that is funded by the state or the government or, you know, tuition dollars. You know, religion doesn't have a place in these types of places, you know, and that's how I feel about it. 
because we are seeing the problems right now. We see it all over the country, like this article talks about. You're going to have a lot of people clashing. And that, to me, is extremely unhealthy. So let me know what you guys think about this. You know, And feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.